the world's cheapest large scale agricultural robot sounds like a misnomer but no it's not it has a name its name is brand mechanism and that brand mechanism we are building the world's cheapest agricultural robot our main concern is scalability to make it large scale and affordability so that people can buy it of course scalability we mean a single robot that can fit a farm of any size let's consider the following two cases farm boat and tetel two examples of agricultural robots so tetel can do a farm of 18 meter squared maximum and that area is limited by its speed so we cannot scale it to work in a farm we cannot put a single tetel to work in a farm greater than 80 meter squared because of its speed on the other side you have farm boat where there are different sizes of sizes of farm boats at 3 meter squared the cost is 1000 dollars 600 1600 dollars just about 1700 dollars and uh, the largest is a uh, 18 meter squared but the size of the area can work is limited by the size of its frame so farm boat we can scale how we can try making it long making it 6 meters long by 3 meters wide then we get 54 meter square of robot but this method when it was tried by farm boat itself it failed <coughs> reasons given high cost of supporting several types of farm boats as we've seen they have genesis express and uh, they have genesis genesis express and this was now genesis max and then as well express that is a uh, express express excel and express max then genesis genesis excel and and uh, genesis max we can scalability is that doesn't mean to produce essentially one thing which has different sizes it doesn't work from uh, farm boat to see again by extending it we increase the the the, the material that you're using on the expensive aluminum extrusion that you're using on on the frame makes it too expensive for the average consumer again the buy distribution map for farm boat over 90 countries they say they have a uh, customers in over 90 countries but in africa we only see about two or four and the rest of that place doesn't have anything australia missing asia missing south uh, south america missing they just distributed in the richer parts of the world <clears throat> and so if they try reducing the cost it will help them a lot so suggested solutions we can use cheaper material for the frame which will also enhance security because no one will come to steal that cheap material but if you leave this and guard it somewhere be sure it will be gone and this is how we reduce that material <coughs> but also even more important than reducing and more practical than reducing the material is using a compound robot because the robot moves but it has the precision of a of a fixed robot and uh, as well it has the range of a mobile robot so no need for the long frame that you have there again for scalability those will help us with affordability and for scalability again mobile compound robot as we've said the range of a mobile robot and the precision of a fixed robot now of course you have to do some trade offs on accuracy precision repeatability etc but they will be within acceptable range for agricultural work and the uh, <coughs> a solution is a mechanism that is called brand mechanism brand mechanism simply is a mechanism that does what you want which is to turn a fixed robot into a compound robot that is a mechanism that carries a fixed robot and then it moves along as though it was on a long rail so we don't need the long rail we just have a compound robot with a fixed robot and a mobile robot it will increase the precision if we only used a mobile robot and it will increase the range 
size and scale than if you used only a fixed robot. It has simple location, simple control, re reducing the cost. The current design that you have, this is one of them. It uh, uses legs. Of course, you can use the chain without the legs, depending on where you are applying this. And you can use wheels as well. It has the following features. They can be joined, several of them, to form one very wide robot. Like here, on the picture, we see only one, the yellow. The yellow here represents a fixed robot, but it could as well have another set of legs on this side and extend the yellow from here to here. So it is a cantilever, but supported on different, different places, making it very wide. So we can achieve a very wide robot that is possible by any other existing means. It can also transform into a normal robot so that when we need you to move fast, it just transforms into, it is on wheels, it will be like a normal robot on wheels. And when we need you to move precisely, we turn it into a brand mechanism. The intended application primarily, and uh, that for which it was designed, was uh, agricultural work to do soil preparation or plowing, planting, weeding, monitoring of the crops. And then there are further suggested applications, CNC, all types of CNCs, 3D printers, and in construction work, brick laying, and also possibly in uh, 3D printing houses. In construction work, further applications are left to the imagination of the creative mind. If you are interested, you can reach us through the contacts there. Email brian at seco.co.ke and more details are available on our website. Thank you.